WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 3rd of June. This is one week before uh, Tom O'Brien's uh, big workshop that he does all day. Uh, workshop. Uh, check it out, front page of TFNN. We're looking at the 11 o'clock update saying the Dow's down 270 to 32,972. Spectacular day yesterday, still within a range. Uh, we're going to be watching this closely because the pattern that we're looking at says that there should be a move above 33,272 in the, in the next few trading days by about Tuesday to start a leg beat to the upside. That's going to be important here. You're looking at the Q, the S&P, S SPX.x, there we go. S&P down a little sharper, down 62 at 41.14. And this is going to be also important because this is in leg C. So talking about leg C, you need to get to a leg B in a buy mode because the stochastic's uh, strong at 89%. The MACD is good. So you want to see a move above yesterday's high. To, if it's not today, it has to be by Monday or Tuesday to start a leg D. That'll be a very quick ABCD to the upside. That's four peaks higher. Then you expect some kind of a pullback. Looking at the QQQ, QQQ also moving uh, down um, eight at 306.21. Made a leg B. This is probably a peak B today. The IWM, and the question in the Tiger YouTube is, the IWM is in a leg C. The RUT, the, uh, the, the core, the RUT index, is at a peak at leg D. Yes, I go with the root, and the root says stick with that. That's in leg D. It's a little bit more extended. So watch that closely. 1879 on the right. You want to see him move into the 1933 by next Tuesday or Wednesday. That's going to be important. Looking at the uh, gold, gold was down a little earlier. It's still down a little more now. It's down 12. Just stuck in a range, leg D, underneath the 200 period, moving average again. Crude oil. Uh, crude oil is pulling back. No, nope, now it's up two. Oh, now it's up two at 118.94. Wow, crude oil just keeps finding buyers all the time. That's really important. Looks like it wants to tackle 120 level very soon. And the arch formation at a peak D in the TLT that says yields still are going higher, doing the work for the Fed. Uh, what is quite interesting here is that within the context of everything that we're looking at, the VIX is uh, rallying some. Uh, it's up 67%, but at 25.39, it actually went to the 24s yesterday. Let's see if by the end of the day you can see a little bit more of a pullback in the VIX so that the market can at least find a little bit more buoyancy. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesavento. Don't forget, a week from today, Tom O'Brien's workshop. The a limited number of people he's taking, so check it out. Great programming here today. and Check out my opening call, my daily news. Edit. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend. The reality is that navigating financial